Hi everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial. So today I'm going to take you through how I paint Night Lord's armor, uh, just in my own way. So over a Chaos Black undercoat, I'm just going to use some Night Lord's blue, watered down a little bit, and going to be looking at doing a coat of this over the entirety of the power armor. Now just depending on how the first coat is looking, you may need a second one as well, but to see how it looks after the uh, first coat. So with the Night Lord's Blue now done, I'm going to move on to Cantor Blue. Now, traditionally, this is what, uh, at least from what I found online, this is actually what uh, most people seem to use as a base coat for Night Lords. Um, however, I'd imagine that was perhaps at a time when Night Lord's Blue wasn't available. I'm not really too sure on that. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, for the most part, going to be focusing on edge highlighting for this. And also just going through, um, as you can see, just where the light would catch on uh, some of the power armor with the Cantor Blue as well. And uh, as you can see, it's really um, uh, quite watered down as well. I mean, not too watered down, but um, enough that you get some really um, smooth uh, details with the Cantor Blue. And although time consuming, uh, it's definitely worth just being quite patient uh, with this first highlight as from here on out afterwards, we'll be focusing mostly on edge highlighting and also doing the lightning effect. Um, so you wanna make sure that Cantor Blue um, stands out a little bit amongst the uh, Night Lord's Blue. So as you can see, I'm just going over those um, raised areas again, just gradually building that up. So now moving on to a mix of Cantor Blue and a Latoc Blue, we're looking at a 50-50 mix for this and uh, a bit of water in there as well. Now essentially focusing on edge highlighting and also making a start on the lightning. Now I do recommend if you don't have a great deal of experience painting lightning, uh, definitely have a reference in front of you, it'll help that much more. And another thing with lightning that I find is uh, quite important is to make sure that you do build it up from a darker color like for example me doing the Cantor blue and a Latoc blue as a base coat for this and then gradually working my way up to lighter colors um, you'll find that it actually gives it sort of um, more of a realistic glowing sort of effect like with what you'd see if you looked at real lightning um, photographed um, it can look very phenomenal and uh, it generally um, you'll find that uh, in a lot of those photos you will find that they do have uh, a subtle glow to them. Um, 
So yeah, definitely, definitely work, uh, worthwhile just taking the extra bit of time just to uh, build up those colors until we get up to the, um, to the final highlight. And now moving on to just a latex blue, and again, um, fairly watered down. And now I'm just going to begin highlighting all of the lightning. And also just adding in some fairly subtle edge highlights as well with the LA top blue.
And at this point, I'm really happy with how the power armor is looking overall. And uh, going to move on to Hoeth Blue. And as you can see, just picking out certain points of the lightning and leaving the Alatok Blue and of course the Cantor Blue, Alatok Blue mix. Um, I mean, again, obviously it would be a lot faster if you were just to go straight to, let's say, white, for example, or like a really bright blue. Um, but of course, depending on what sort of style of lightning you're doing, um, that could work. I just found with uh, the Night Lord's uh, power armor and how everything is sort of uh, gradual when you actually look at it. It's definitely worthwhile in this case. Uh, if you are doing a Night Lord's Army, or intend on even doing the uh, Nemesis Claw kill team when it comes out, um, definitely worthwhile looking into um, a method like this um, to painting that lightning. And now, just as a final touch, I'm just going to use some blue horror and just finishing off some highlights, some subtle points uh, for the lightning. And here are some photos of the completed Night Lords Traitor Legion Space Marine. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. Please leave a like, share with some friends, leave a comment below of something you might like to see me do soon. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you again in the next one.